thanks for joining me. We're going to start with a basic Pilates workout. There's going to be some yoga moves in here, some light stretching. This is a perfect workout if you haven't worked out in a while. Uh, you want to protect your body from being injured. You don't have any equipment. You can do this anywhere, at home, anytime. Uh, we're just going to activate all the muscles in our body, get some energy flowing, and most importantly, connect to our core and our breath. Let's start lying on the floor, bend those legs, engage the abs right away by pulling the navel to spine and kissing your ribcage together. Good, relax those shoulders, open up the chest, bring your arms down to a T position, palms down. Legs up, tabletop position. This move's called windshield wipers. We're gonna warm up the spine by slowly twisting, bringing our legs to the right and warm up the abs by using your core, pulling that navel to spine to bring the legs back up. And slow and with control, bring the legs over to the left. Initiate all the movement in the legs with your core. Pull that belly button in, keep your spine nice and long on the floor. Breathe in and exhale. Anchor your left shoulder blade down as your knees go to the right. And center. And one more anchoring your right shoulder blade down as your knees come to the left. Abs in and center. Nice work. All right, next move, roll up. We're gonna continue to warm up the whole body, the spine, the core. Squeeze your inner thighs. You're gonna bring your arms overhead. Now your feet can be loosely pointed, pointed or flexed, whatever is more comfortable for you. I like to have a loose point, but make sure those inner thighs are squeezing together. Keep your biceps by your ears. As soon as you let your arms go down to the floor, uh, the rib cage tends to splay open and you disengage the core. So bringing the arms by the ears helps me to pull my navel in even deeper. This will be my starting point. Inhale. Roll up using your core, squeeze those inner thighs, reach forward, exhale, roll back one vertebra at a time. Inhale, up, reach forward, exhale, back, and lengthen. Inhale, up, reach forward, back, and lengthen. This is a nice dynamic stretch on the hamstrings as I reach forward. And it's also really good for finding your imbalances in your spine. As you can see, you might tend to roll to the right or the left as you go down. So just keep an eye on your legs and where your body's going as you roll. If you want to make this exercise harder, you can keep your biceps by your ears. Oh, you don't have the arms to pull yourself forward. And if that's too difficult, keep the arms forward as you roll down. Bring the arms forward first as you roll up. And make sure every time you roll, you're pulling your shoulder blades down. They're not lifting up. And the rib cage stays down and doesn't release every time you come down. Good, take a deep breath, exhale. Next up, we're gonna do the Pilates 5 series, a staple in Pilates exercises. So try to remember these five moves and do them every single day. Continuing to activate the core and the breath, we're going to pull our belly in, bring the knees into your chest, forehead to your knees. First one in the series, single leg stretch. Pull your right leg in, straighten the left leg out. Outside hand goes on the ankle, inside hand goes on the knee. Pull those shoulder blades down and switch. One, one, two, two. We want about 10 on each side. Four, good, five. Squeeze that butt cheek of the straight leg. So I'm Squeezing, 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 squeezing. Curl up using your abs and rest. Good. 
Now, the goal when you get stronger is to do all five without resting in between, but for now, we'll take a little break to rest that neck. Remember, the stronger your abs, the less you'll feel it in your neck. Next one, double leg stretch. You're gonna curl back up, suck that belly button in, hollow out those abs, reach the legs and arms out, big circle with the arms, catch the legs. Inhale, gaze is at the belly button, squeeze those inner thighs, reach, good. Catch those legs. Inhale and exhale. Straight out, straight in. Straight out, straight in. Inhale, big circle with the arms. Inhale and exhale. If your lower back is lifting off the mat, then I want you to bring the legs a little bit higher. Don't let them go too low. Last one and rest. Third one in the series. You're going to straighten your right leg up, extend the left leg out, reach up as high as you can on that right ankle using your abs. So if I let go, I want to be able to hold this position with my abdominal. You're going to do two pulses. One, two, one, two. Bottom leg bounces as well, using that bottom butt cheek to really squeeze and bounce the leg with control. One, two, one, two, one, and two. Pull your navel in. One and two, 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 one and two. One more, one and two, and rest. Good job. All right, this fourth one is actually really challenging. In my opinion, the most challenging of the five. So there are two variations. To start, you can keep your head down, place your hands underneath your tailbone in a diamond shape. If you're doing this version, it's a little easier. You're going to do Pilates V. You're going to keep your upper body nice and straight on the ground. Lower for three counts. Two, three, lift up for one. Down. Two, three, and up. Down. Abs in. Abs in. Abs deeper. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. Now, to make that harder, you're going to place your hands behind your head, curl up, keep the head up, and do the same thing, heels together, toes apart. Lower, two, three, and up. Now do your range here. If you find your back lifting, you're going too low. So maybe just a couple inches, exhale, down, two, three, and exhale. Curl up as you lower those legs. Exhale, down, two, Three and rest. All right, that was really challenging, but really good. So good for your core. Last one in the five series, crisscross. Opposite elbow, I like to say to the outside of the opposite knee. So that really gets you to twist your torso off your hips. Ready? So let's start with our right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Twist and twist. Good. And twist and twist. Now with these, I find the more slow and controlled you are, the harder they are. So keep this nice controlled pace so that you're not using any momentum. You're just using your abs, your obliques. Twist the torso off your hips. Reach that elbow to the outside of the knee. Five, four, three, two, and one and rest we did it all right so that is the five series let's flip over and do a little stretch on the anterior side of our body and work our posterior to counter what we just did so hands are in front of you and you're going to press up pull your navel in lengthen that lower back to protect your spine and uh really lift up and out of your shoulder blades if this is hurting your lower back. Bring the arms forward. The more forward your arms are, the less intense it's going to be on your back. If you can take it, bring the arms in, keep your posture, keep your alignment, keep pulling those abs in. Good. And let's do a neck roll while we're here. Look to the right. Drop around and roll. Drop around and roll. Good. One more. Nice. And lay all the way down. 
Continuing with some strengthening of our backside, we're going to go into swimming. So you're going to squeeze your glutes, squeeze your back muscles, lift the arms and legs up off the ground. Keep your neck in line with the spine and start swimming up and down with the arms and legs. Up, 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 up. Good. Keep those biceps by your ears. Keep squeezing your glutes. Keep lifting. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Let's go back into child's pose. All right. While we're here, we do some push-ups. I'm going to do them on my knees. I haven't done push-ups in a while, but feel free to challenge yourself. Straighten the legs and do regular push-ups. Um, do what feels good to your body and do the range that feels comfortable. So you may only go a couple inches. If you can get your chest to the ground, great. But most importantly, let's keep our posture and our alignment in our spine. Don't drop the head. Gaze is slightly forward. And we're gonna get about 10 of these. Eight, seven, Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Let's get another child's pose. Okay, going into the next move called running. You're going to go into a downward dog position. Hands slightly wider than the shoulders. Press back into the heels. Feet are about hip distance apart. Bend your right knee, press the left heel down, stretching out the calf and Achilles of that left leg. And articulate through the arch of the foot as you switch. And 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 rest. Good. Walk the hands and feet together. Soften the knees as you roll up one vertebra at a time. Shoulders down and back. Core is tight. We're going to go into the next move, which is standing. You're going to go into a squat position. Slightly turn out the legs. Uh, if it feels better for you to turn out wider, you can do that. Just make sure that when you squat, your knees go directly over your toes. You can also do it in parallel. The slight turn out feels a little more natural to me. Hands in front of your chest, shoulders down, spine is nice and tall. Squat, squeeze the inner thighs, squeeze the butt as you rise up onto the uh, balls of your feet. And down, squat, squeeze and lift, and down. Squeeze and lift, and down. As you go down into your squat, you want to think of lifting the spine up. So there's resistance. You remain nice and tall, working on that posture, core control, breathing in and out. Good. Let's get three more. And up. Last two. Squeeze. And one. And squeeze. Good job. All right. Bring the feet together. You're going to finish up with a stretch. I like to use yoga blocks because I'm not as flexible as I was before. You don't have to. You can place your hands on the ground or use anything that's going to lift your hands up a little bit higher. Um, if you're not as flexible, the blocks are going to go at the, the highest point. You can go down to the middle or lower, depending on how flexible you are. We're going to stretch our hamstrings. So you're going to step right foot forward, left foot back. We're going to start in parallel, hands on the blocks or on the floor, fingertips on the floor if you don't have blocks. So really important here, I can already feel the stretch. I want to think about you to think about lengthening that lower back. So square off your hips. Try to really reach that tailbone out away from your head and flatten that back really nice and straight so that we get this proper hamstring stretch without rounding the back. 
we will round the back after this. So flat back, keep reaching energy through the spine, really square off those hips and hold and breathe. Then you can finish off by completely relaxing into the pose, rounding the back, dropping the head. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the flat back, but with the turned out leg, which is going to get a little more of my inner thigh. Keep reaching the spine long and finish with rounding and dropping the head. We're going to go into a lunge position from here, really getting into that left hip flexor, which is super tight if you've been sitting a lot. Uh, okay, drop the knee down. You can place your hands on your right, uh, right thigh. Press your hips forward, especially that left side, but really keep your posture nice and tall so you get this long stretch along that whole left side of your body, left leg, front of the left thigh. For an extra stretch, you can place your hand on the floor or on the block, and you can reach that left arm up and over, continuing to push forward into that left hip. Great. Okay, gently stand up, carefully switch legs, legs in parallel on two tracks. We're going to start with the hamstring stretch. So, hip square. Tailbone is reaching away from the top of my head. Nice flat back. Now, if you are flexible in your hamstrings and you can lean forward while continuing to keep your flat back, that's great. Right now, I can already feel this in my left hamstring. One side tends to be tighter than the other, which is completely normal. Mine's my left. Finish off with a drop, round, and breathe, relaxing into the stretch. Turn that back leg out, flatten out the back once again, and feel the stretch on the inner thigh. Drop it around. And finish with a lunge on that left leg, pushing into the right hip flexor this time. Hands on that left thigh, hold. Now continue to pull that navel into your spine. Don't let it all hang out in the stretch. Really keep this activated all along your core and spine. Keeping this posture nice and tall. And finish off with the right arm going up and over, continuing to push into that right hip. Excellent. All right, that is the end of our workout. Thank you for doing my first workout of the year with me and I hope to see you at the next one.